We have the beautiful account in the first reading of David and Goliath and how David took on Goliath and struck him down, struck him dead, even though he was only a youth. He was not a warrior. He was a shepherd. And yet when he was a shepherd, he, he killed uh, lions and bears with his own hands. And so, and he knew that God was with him in that way. He certainly would have prayed to God in those times when he was in danger as a shepherd taking care of the sheep. So he knew that God was with him and he knew that uh, he was anointed king as well. So he, he had those human, um, human talents that he could work with, but he, still he knew that he, he needed God in order to destroy Goliath, who was a huge man and a warrior from his youth. But he put his trust in God and he prayed and he knew the king needed help and he wanted to come to the help of the king, which was a way of serving God. So he trusted in God, he prayed, and he used the strength and talents that God gave him, and he was victorious. And this is a lesson to us to, to trust in God, to trust in God in the great things like this, in our great, in our crises in our own life, in our big things we want to do for God, or the necessary things we need to trust in God, pray, that God will be with us and he will bring success to the work of our hands. And that trust is so important, not just in the great things, but in the, the everyday little things that we do. We always want our work and our um, occupations that we're engaged in every day, we want it to go well. And so we pray, we say our morning prayers, we say our work prayers, that our work goes well and successful, that we don't commit sin during the day, that we do everything well for our neighbor and for God. And that requires trust. You know, if we don't trust, we will not, we won't pray. We'll think it's a waste of time. Even if we do have a faith, if we don't pray very much, that's really a sign that we don't trust God very much, that he's not gonna answer our, our prayers, you know, as, as often as we want. So we, we reduce our prayers. But if we know that God listens to every prayer that we pray, and that he's always with us, that trust builds, that trust builds and that love for God builds. Trust is really a fruit of love, a fruit uh, of our belief in God, and it's something that fosters love for God, and it fosters a close relationship with our divine beloved, as it does to our human beloved. We, when we trust them, we love them more, and if we love them, we will trust them. So we, part of our relationship is to grow and trust in God, and that trust is built through continual prayer. And the more we pray, the more God answers our prayers, the more we trust him, the more we love him, the more we grow closer to him, we develop our relationship with him, the stronger our, our faith is, the stronger our love for God is. So true trust is really a, a, an important bond, bonding element in our relationship with God and uh, we need to foster it, we need to make it grow. And um, so let's ask Our Lady to build this trust and uh, know that uh, we can build it too through our continual prayer and our effort to, to pray more and more and deepen our relationship with God.